Greetings. And salutations. My beautiful beings of light. Smile my beloveds, your brilliance is increasing within each moment in the celestial realms. My beautiful beings of grace, you chose to come to the earth plane because you wanted to help. You wanted to be here when the tough jobs got tougher. You wanted to climb the highest mountain peaks and swim the deepest seas. You wanted to surmount duality and show that the lessons finally had been realized through mass consciousness. You wanted to dive back into the light unscathed after dwelling in negativity and darkness. You wanted to eradicate hatred, intolerance, and fear. You wanted everyone to show kindness, respect, and treated with dignity while embracing the return of peace and love. Of course my beloveds, when you are within your true essence, residing totally within your original Ham. You are the celestial realm's brilliant master CO creators. You are the elite celestial master teachers. Most of you solve puzzles and move mountains without a second thought when you are at home. Have patience with yourselves my beloveds, embodying the veiled human construct with no remembrance of who you really are and playing in the earth plane school of duality is quite a challenge. You probably don't remember my beloveds, that the call went out within the celestial realms and you decided to volunteer. The Creator's Master Blueprint was designed around many points and intricate pieces of divine change. The pieces were divided amongst all of the players, therefore all of the pieces must be remembered and brought back together to fulfill the total mission. The good news my beautiful being of grace, is that the Light Quotient is showing that you've been working overtime to remember who you are and to bring in change. Well done, my beloveds, well done. My divine beings of grace, many are awakening and realizing that change isn't out there, but it is an inside job and so you have started to work on yourselves, bravo. You are remembering that you are responsible for the change that you see within yourselves. You are accepting and remembering that you are an eternal essence playing your part in the earth plane play. You are remembering that you have this divine puzzle piece that only you can provide. My beloveds when you find yourself doubting your effectiveness, or your worth or your role, pause and redirect your attention to all the positive forward motion that has been accomplished. Congratulate yourselves on the work you have clicked off of your spiritual inner to-do list. If you have been mired in negativity for a while, you may have to dig a little to find the spark of light that is trying to emerge. This was never to be a slam dunk, quick fix for planet Earth it was always a major challenge. When you are changing a major lesson school, such as the Earth Plane to bring forward a new curriculum with 7 billion plus veiled inhabitants and all else within the Earth Plane that is to be considered, it's a tough assignment. My beloveds, the important point is you are part of the A-Team. You are the masters of CO creation, smile and just let that truth sink in. When in doubt pause and redirect your thoughts to your divine origins. You are nothing other than brilliant CO creative masters, embrace that fact within your physical human selves. Yes, that physical embodiment is only a tiny fraction of your vast spiritual energy but it is a tiny part of the divine that you are. Allow this messenger to take you on a mediation journey to remember who you really are. Sit in a chair or lie down whichever is your preference. It's time to be comfortable and undisturbed for a while as you journey within yourself through meditation. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out. Visualize with each in-breath, you are breathing in love and renewal. With each out-breath, you are breathing out pain, fear, frustrations, and doubts. With the last out-breath feel your body relaxing. Allow and give yourself permission to feel the calm, peace and serenity of this safe place. My beloveds ask your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey, it is not to participate. Through prayer to the Creator please ask the Creator to share with you a translucent golden shield of light. Visualize it all around you forming a bubble from head to toe protecting you from all outside influences and giving you warmth, radiance, light and power. Negatives will simply bounce harmlessly off your shield of protective light. My beloveds, 
the Creator has responded to your prayer. Your protective bubble has been supplied. The energies for this bubble will continue to flow from the Creator, cycling back down through you again, and back to the Creator in a continuous circular loop while you are in meditation. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you, that is not for your highest good, without your permission. Breathe in deeply my beautiful beings of light and sense the lighter relaxed feelings of being divinely protected and guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Breathe in deeply allowing, seeing and sensing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and invited spirit guides as they join you now. The angels take your spiritual etheric essence hands and guide you out of your physical body. The angels then direct you into your etheric spiritual heart chakra. An angel is staying with your physical essence until you return from your meditation journey. My beloveds, you are visualizing, seeing, feeling and sensing this within your imagination, your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are with you now within your spiritual heart chakra. Your angels and guides are helping you locate the golden door that says to my highest guidance within. In your imagination you have located the golden door and now you turn the etheric spiritual door knob, opening the door as you cross over the threshold knowing that you are on a spiritual growth adventure. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. Your angels are guiding you to open the door next to the escalator. You open the door and feel a rush of the freshest air that you have ever breathed greet you as you cross over the threshold. You notice that you are in a lush green glade. A hundred feet away over the old arched wooden bridge and up a mountainside you see the light refractions from your very own crystal palace. You are walking with your angels down the path and notice that the bridge has two angels one on either side of the entrance. They are requesting that you stand in the silver violet flame that is located at the bridge entrance. This flame they remind you is a clearing and cleansing flame, cool to the touch and will not harm you in any way. They are telling you this is your most sacred ground and they suggest that you be as clear as possible to enjoy this adventure to your fullest potential. They ask that any troubles, worries, or concerns be left in their care, simply place them in the large baskets on either side of the bridge entrance until you return. You fill the baskets with all your concerns and issues. You notice that with each deposit into the basket you feel and lighter and lighter. It is so freeing and elating to have them taken off of your shoulders even if only for a little while. Stepping into the silver-violet flame you observe as the flame changes from dark violet and silver to silver and white as all is cleared and cleaned for you journey. Now cleared the angels direct you to walk across the bridge. You feel as though you are gliding now. It requires no effort to move just think that you wish to move in the direction of the crystal palace and allow yourselves to float towards it. You find yourselves floating up the side of mountain with no effort at all you are not even touching the steps that are there. You find yourself quickly in your very own garden of serenity and there waiting to greet you is your friend, the white unicorn, Jake. You exchange pleasantries with Jake and stroke his silky mane and you walk together down the path towards your crystal palace. You have arrived at the golden door of this beautiful light refracting structure. You see two golden posts one on each side of the door. For those that are ready, Look on each post and see how many names you have held during your past incarnations. Do not be alarmed beloveds if you see nothing at this time. These experiences will come when the appropriate time is right for you to have these revelations revealed to you. You may even see the name that was gifted to you at the moment of your birth into the celestial realm itself. You may even hear your celestial name being whispered in your ear by the one that greeted you at the exact moment of your birth. If the time is right listen closely and hear and remember the one that named you. Breathe the glorious sounds of your celestial name into the ethers. Remember the celestial celebration that took place at your birth and feel the love that created your perfection. Hear the music being played in the background that was created as a gift to you by your very own creator, itself, I am. Smiling now in awe of your remembrance, 
you notice the light refracting off of all the walls and crystal spires above as the colors dance around on the floor welcoming your return to your very own crystal palace. You enjoy interacting with the colors, it is so much fun to stand within one and then the other. Each has a message for you, remember to look up the color meaning of each upon your return. You see off to your left many doors, most of them are open, and each has a label. The angels are guiding you to a door that is not yet opened and as you glide towards it you can read the door label clearly it says through the looking glass. You open the door and see a room of mirrors all shapes and sizes they cover every wall within this space. There are no images showing at this moment in now. How unusual you think to yourself, why no reflections or images? The angels explain that each mirror has a special purpose and a unique gift to show you where you have been including a glimpse of your own eternal essence. The last mirror shows you a glimpse of your potential future self. Please note here beautiful beings of grace some are ready for these revelations and some are not. If you see no thing it simply isn't the right moment and now for this information. These are bold steps and not all may be ready for these remembrances. The opportunity will come again when the moment and now is appropriate for each. Be patient with yourself and do not strain to see. The information will come with ease and grace for those that are ready to experience the events being shared. The angels demonstrate how to step through the mirror in order to view the revelations. Note, you will only be shown the things that you are ready to see and evaluate. You begin and are shown scenes from your most recent past life. Scenes that have a particular impact or pattern or connection or link represented within your current incarnation. You understand that each life has a specific character to play, a specific purpose, along with skills and lessons that are to be carried forward. Some are positive lessons and images and some perhaps may bring you to tears. Sometimes you might have had the agreement and portrayed the villain for another. Sometimes you might have had the contract to be the savior for another. Some will show you patterns of behavior that you've scripted and selected to return and correct. This experience will also show you a gauge of progress that you've made. You continue through all of the mirrors soaking up knowledge and remembrance of how it all works. This is a glimpse to help you connect the dots, if you will, and share why you are here and what you agreed to participate in. Viewing your celestial presence is awe-inspiring and brings such joy and peace to your presence. The angel motions for you to step into the potential future mirror. The angel joins you, explaining that what you are about to see can change in the blink of an eye because so many events hinge on each choice within yourself and others that affect the possibilities and outcomes. Your present expanded awareness has even colored your potential future the angels explain and now you have witnessed this for yourself. The angels continue explaining further that at the time of your initial birth into creation you were never to have had the stress and despair that you have experienced within your present incarnation. The angel shows you the visions that you could hold if your spiritual inner progress and awareness continues to expand as you remember to pause and redirect to remove any doubts of your spiritual origins. You finish this glimpse and step back through the looking glass. You feel such awe and reverence for yourself and all others. What you just witnessed was glorious and joy-filled, peace filled with bliss and rapture. You understand now and remember why the angels have concerns for those within the earth plane. You understand the Creator's tears for its children because you have just witnessed the perfection that the Creator had in mind for you. The tears of joy are flowing down you face now and you are sobbing harder and harder understanding that you have much work and remembrance to do to reach your highest and most appropriate potential. We honor all for taking this journey, the angels say. You have been very brave and sense a great awareness along with appreciation for what you are to accomplish during this current lifetime. Your angel is telling you it is time to return. You close your eyes and instantly find yourself back in the white marble corridor. You catch a glimpse of your glowing essence in the mirror a remembrance of joy stays with you. Your angels lead you back across the threshold of the golden door within, back into your spiritual heart chakra and then they assist the return of your spiritual essence back into your physical form. Take a deep breath to help you reorient as you wiggle your fingers and toes. 
When you are ready open your eyes. Go about your day remembering that your inner higher wisdom and angelic support staff are always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Listen for those first thoughts that pop into your awareness and know without a shadow of a doubt that you are receiving daily spiritual guidance. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure, more than any earth plane language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael, the Creator's messenger of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace and grace.